Hi, I'm Janet Ferraro. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you how I create this beautiful bison by combining charcoal and acrylic, and then how I seal the canvas and then developing the painting from there. And before I demonstrate, here are my supplies. These are the charcoal related supplies, and then these are the colors I use in acrylic paint. I begin with a light wash of diluted paint using the cerulean blue combined with a touch of the burnt umber and titanium white. I want there to be a glow of color laid down on the canvas, not only in the background, but also on the bison itself. And then after I'm satisfied with that initial layer, I will then begin to build the charcoal. As I was applying the paint, I realized that I had forgotten to erase the lines of my grid. And so I got out my eraser, cleaned the end of it, and erased the lines that were not already covered up with acrylic paint. It just makes the process easier to not have those lines shining through the initial layer of paint. And here I'm showing you some of my reference photos. I purchased those online, but I did see bison in person at Yellowstone a few years ago. And the memory of these incredibly beautiful, powerful animals will always stay with me. And now the powdered charcoal. I apply it using this sponge.
decided to take my canvas outside so I wouldn't breathe in any of this compressed charcoal dust nor the acetone that I will be spraying on the canvas. After sprinkling a little more of the compressed charcoal down, I sprayed it with the acetone. Now this is just an acetone I bought at the hardware store and put into a spray bottle. And I wasn't sure if I had maybe applied a little too much. Here I'm wiping it back with a paper towel. I was a little concerned that maybe I would put too much powdered charcoal down and I wasn't sure exactly if I was going to like the result. So I'm happy where the underpainting is now and it's time to seal the charcoal to the canvas. I apply three light layers of the Krylon Matte Finish Aerosol Spray and please do read the instructions on the can when applying this. Once the spray has dried, I then apply the isolation coat. This is a clear acrylic coat that will go on a milky white and dry crystal clear. So here it is, the completed underpainting. I wonder what I'll do next. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.